Here's a wine problem that literally everybody has had. You pour yourself a glass of wine, you decide you don't want to finish the bottle. How do you keep the thing fresh? You don't want to pour it out. There are a number of methods and gadgets, actually, that will help you preserve your wine, keep it fresh if you want to drink it two days later. We're going to test six of them, tell you which one works the best. Damn. Method number one, super simple, anyone can do this. Put the cork back in the wine, put the wine in the fridge. Any wine, red or white, will last longer if you put it in a fridge. Method number two, the vacuvin. Wine, when it's exposed to oxygen, starts to lose flavors and aroma. The vacuvin simply sucks out the oxygen from the bottle, creating a partial vacuum. So in theory, now there's not that much oxygen left in here and your wine will last longer. Method number three is this stuff called Private Preserve. It feels like a totally empty can. It's in fact full of nitrogen. Nitrogen's heavier than oxygen. So you spray a little nitrogen into your bottle, but the idea is that that preserves your wine because it's not being exposed to oxygen. Method number four is the air cork. Uh, I have to say this is the weirdest of the, of the methods. So the idea here is you stick the balloon into the bottle of wine, you inflate it with your purple grape bunch inflator doodad widget thing until the, the, until the gray balloon in the bottle is completely sealing the bottle and touching the wine so there's no oxygen and there's no air, there's nothing, there's just this weird gray rubber balloon, the air cork. Alrighty. Method number five is the free for all, you can do whatever you like method. Why not do a little bit of private preserve? and then put the wine into the fridge as well. I just wanna see if it's better than Private Preserve alone. So method number six, the Coravin, is kind of unlike any of the other methods. It has this Teflon needle. She came out of medical technology for you know piercing arteries and things. Push the needle down through the cork like that, and then you've got an argon cartridge here. Basically, you're pumping argon into the bottle, and then the pressure in the bottle from the argon pushes wine back up through the needle and out into the glass. It's not actually preservation because the wine's actually never been opened. It's more extraction. In theory, you know, the next glass we extract from this bottle should be exactly like a fresh bottle. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I'm going to open our control bottle and I'm going to compare all of these methods against the just opened white wine. Yes, it has the incredible fruit juicy smell of uh, Torrentes. I picked this wine because it is so ridiculously fruity. I sort of figured that if one of them or any of them doesn't work very well, it won't preserve that kind of vivacious aroma and crazy town fruitiness that Torrentes actually has. So our first bottle, simple, effective, classic. I put it in the fridge. Not bad, it's a little muted. Let's compare it to the vacuum bin. Might be a little touch better than the fridge. Not as lively as the, uh, the just open bottle. Private preserve. Pretty close. I mean, you know, for two and a half days, that's, that's, that did a nice job. Then we have the almighty air cork. One of the weirder things I've ever run into. It seems to have deflated a little bit in the process, it kind of feel like when I put it in there, it was all the way up against the wine. Now it's like a little bit, it's a little space in there. You do this, it shrinks. It looks like an old, I'm not even gonna say what the hell it looks like. Compared to our winner so far, the nitrogen spray. Pretty identical, actually. I wonder how large the air cork can become. I guess you could put it in a Magnum bottle if you did this. We've got Private Preserve, plus putting the wine into the fridge. That is actually pretty close to this. Two and a half days later, private preserve plus time in the fridge versus our control that was just opened um, are darn near identical. And then last, we have the Coravin in order to taste the wine. I mean, outside of Coraviniing it again, I actually have to remove the cork, which I never removed. Well, that tastes exactly like this bottle. So the Corbin, you know, it's expensive. If you've got really expensive wine at home or you've got old wine or you've got wine that you wanna be able to take a glass out of and then come back to that wine six weeks from now or six years from now, Corbin is great. It's really cool in that regard. If you're a day-to-day, -day, everyday, average wine drinker who finishes half a bottle and was like, I'm going away for the weekend, I want it still to be good on Monday, you know, the best solution is either 
private preserve, which is nitrogen, um, plus putting it in the fridge. Or if you want to get weird and um, buy an expanding you know, wine toy, the air cork um, and put it in the fridge. The fridge basically extends the life of any of these methods, but I really think the private preserve is kind of cool and it works pretty well. Unless you're someone who really just loves like pumping your wine bottle with bulbs or, or spraying stuff into them. You know, the easiest way to deal with this entire problem is just finish the bottle. <laughs>